Okay, so I am going to wrongly close this now. So now we have our region, if we're reasonably happy with the detection, H to turn these on or off, H for hide that is. And now let's say I want to apply this cell detection across a much larger region. What I can do is I can just press backspace then. I'll delete this, I don't need it anymore. I will press R for the rectangle, um, draw a larger region. I'm going to run my cell detection in here. Now at this point, I realize I've closed my dialog box containing all of the cell measurements. I can press Ctrl and L, positive cell detection. But this has actually taken me back to the defaults. And so there could be an alarming moment as you think that you've lost your finely tuned parameters. But you haven't necessarily. What we can do is we can go to this workflow tab and each time we ran the cell detection, it's logged what we did, it's logged the parameters that we used. And you can see there's quite a lot of times running it there. But if I just go to the very end of the list, then this will be the most recent ones that I ran. I can double click on there, it will open it up. And then now I can press run within this larger region. QPath will divide it into smaller parts and then apply the cell detection. It should be fairly fast here because I have a fairly high pixel size. And you may want to lower that if you want to maximize the accuracy as much as possible, but it will take substantially longer. And these parameters should look familiar as being the ones that we had optimized then towards the end.